Thank you for tuning in to A Better Black America TV. My name is Bouchon Glover, and I have a reaction uh, to Whoopi Goldberg being in hot water for saying that the Jewish Holocaust was not about race. Whoopi Goldberg said the Jewish Holocaust was not about race live on The View, and she has been apologizing ever since. But she is not totally wrong. Now, A Better Black America TV is a uh, YouTube independent uh, we're not, we don't have, um, we're not being paid or financed by any outside entities, so they really can't control our narrative. But when you work for ABC, Viacom, CBS, CNN, uh, BET, and a lot of the major networks, you got to understand um, that these uh, major platforms, you know, have Jewish descent all through it. Because if you don't understand the Jewish community, you know, created Hollywood, made a, a comment that really has the community in an uproar, uproar, and I mean the Jewish community, because you have a black woman speaking on the Holocaust here in America on their platform. Now, she's not totally wrong. Whoopi Goldberg made an example. She said, if I'm with my two white Jewish friends and I'm the only black person and the Ku Klux Klan arrives or comes, that she's going to be the only one that runs and they're going to chase her because they're going to pass the two white girls. But for some, whatever reason, they're trying to explain that there's a, a, a different type of, of race amongst whites because it's like this. Here in America, race is, you know, is, is, is major, okay? But we know, and this is broken down, you know, in the um, elitist community, the education community, you know, breaking it down that, there, that there's only three races. You know, you got the Caucasoids, the Caucasians, you got the Mongolians, which, which is the Asians, and we've all had that barbecue before, and... You have the Negroids, which is the blacks, and all humanity derived from the continent of Africa. So therefore, everything came from black. Now, there's a group of people, you know, and, 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 I, and when I say it's not flesh and blood, it's powers and principalities. There's a, a group of people in high places that really don't want the world to know the truth because whatever it is, they want to create a different race for them outside of the white race when that's literally impossible. And I debate this a lot with my friends and um, got into arguments with, with my best of friends and actually walked out of their homes because of not being able to have a real conversation about race. Because there's a term that's called assimilation. Okay, assimilation is something that you do, you assimilate, you, you accept what's going on, you assimilate, you play by their rules, and then you become part of their rules, and then you make changes. But for Blacks, assimilation is a pipe dream. There is no such a thing for assimilation for Blacks. Because when we're selected to be in these positions, we don't make decisions based off of who we are and what we want to do, unless we're the owner, the CEO, or the decision maker. But if we are the employee, the wage earner, no matter how many figures that they're paying us, we still represent the company that's paying that check. So Oprah Winfrey, not Oprah Winfrey, excuse me, um, Whoopi Goldberg, she represents ABC. She represents The View. She represents who pays her check. And I guarantee you that there is someone of Jewish descent in that process that have the issue with a black woman in America on live television, prime daytime, prime television on The View, talking about the Holocaust. Now, people advise, um, you know, people that work in politics or people that's on television shows don't talk about race. Don't talk about uh, uh, homosexuality and don't and a man should not talk about abortion and you could just stay safe. But Whoopi Goldberg is a black woman with experience. And for whatever reason, they're telling her that she cannot be transparent. She cannot be honest and she cannot tell her view on the show that she works on called The View. Because what she said was not totally wrong. It was just the wrong platform and the wrong stage to do it. Because right here on A Better Black America, I'm going to break it down. Because when she was talking about assimilation, now she, this is the example that she used. She said that, she said out of her own mouth, that if she was with two Jewish white women and she's the only black girl and the KKK runs, we know as black Americans, as African Americans, that the KKK was 100% against the black race here in America and all the colors uh, are lined up under that, but we was the, the main issue, okay? We was the one, the main topic of discussion when it comes to slavery. We were, and we still are because the constitution still has a criminalization clause that's not locking up Jews, that's not locking up anybody else, but the criminals, the former slave, attached to the Democrats. 
And this is the God's honest truth. So let me just break this thing down called a simulation. Now, a simulation is different between blacks and everybody else in every other culture. Now, blacks in the South before the civil rights movement, we did not assimilate. We simply complied. We simply complied and conformed to the laws of the land. If you was walking down the street as a black man or a black boy or kid or whatever you want to call it, and a white family, a white man walked down the street, you could not look them in their eyes. You had to walk, you know, get off the sidewalk, give them a clear path and they could get back on the sidewalk. We've all heard these stories from our, you know, our uncles and grandfathers who came from the South. So think about the assimilation aspect. If you are a Jewish person, okay, you really can't be distinguished whether you're Caucasian or not. Not to us. Now, if you are a German and you had an issue with a Jew, that's a different story. But here in America, it's not about busting up the races and making these ethnicities. It's about race. Racism is racism. Now, race is white, black, Asian. That's it. Everybody else falls by default because obviously through historical artifacts and through our education and through knowledge, and technology that all humanity came from the continent of Africa over 4.3 million years ago. And the fossils is called Lucy, just to let you know that I know what I'm talking about. But the assimilation, assimilation is a pipe dream for black America, okay? And that's the term that blacks in high places use to get to where they're trying to go so they can actually stay in control. But there's not, has not been one black person, Martin Luther King included, that has gotten to the mountaintop and has made an educated decision that he's going to be able to do something for his people through them. What they do, they kill them. So in the 60s, in the 60s, 1960s, go back to the 1860s, just 100 years removed the slaves, of slavery, look at who was killed and who was murdered in the 60s to continue on, okay? There was a presidential candidate that came after Abraham Lincoln, whose name was Johnson, okay? So why was it Lyndon B. Johnson, the one who signed the Civil Rights Act, which basically played us and pushed another 40 years of, of, of us being behind? because we just celebrated 55 years of women empowerment. We just celebrated 50 years of gay pride. But why we didn't celebrate 50 plus years of the Civil Rights Act? Because there's a criminalization clause. And we're gonna talk about that. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg to have to go on nighttime television to explain herself, have to you know go on, on, on social media to explain herself, and then this morning have to come into and apologize knowing that she was right Think about it. See, men don't do that. That's why they want women in these positions, because a man would have resigned today and used his power and his platform to basically bring the energy over here so he can make the change for his people. But women don't fight for their people. They fight for themselves. And Oprah and, and, and Whoopi Goldberg just explained that. OK, Whoopi Goldberg just made that come into fruition. She just clearly by doing a Nick Cannon, which is understandable, you do apologize because you're in those places. But we have to um, fight for them and use our platforms to be totally honest and transparent of what's going on. Now, assimilation. If you look at the Jewish people that came to America, they got reparations. Um, they're still getting, you know, uh, things and assistance and programs outside of, you know, former slaves, outside of the blacks who was who has 400 years of history here. And then they changed their names. They changed their names to be accepted as whites. And now the Jewish community is the oppressors of the black race only because you will not allow us to talk about our racism. Our racism is black. OK, you cannot say racism don't work and control the narrative just because you want to stay in positions of power that you have. We understand that you own the record labels. We understand that you own mass media. We understand that you own big tech. We understand that. But think about the 400 years of advancement that we don't have because a whole entire group of people that's coming over here as Caucasian that want to call themselves a particular race so they can have control. So this is a conversation between whites and Jews that we have to figure it out because what's the difference between a white American and a white a white American and a white person of Jewish descent? What's the difference? You're still white. It's not about class. It's not about ethnicity. See, I'm a black man and you could call me an African American, but my race is black. My ethnicity is African American and my nationality is American, but my race is Negroid, just like all Jewish people of Jewish descent, their race is called Cajun, just like all Asians of Asian descent, their race is Mongolian. 
So why do we have to uh, uh, make the black woman apologize when I mean, she's just merely speaking her truth? But in this council culture, now we're really starting to understand who is the new oppressors, who, who, is, who, who are the people that's in, in control that's making sure that black America never has this narrative. OK, and if you look at it, you can look at the political parties. Did not the Jews assimilate, change their names to uh, carry on as white, create Hollywood. And now they're the major fundraisers and the donors of the Democratic Party. See, our ancestry fought to protect this nation. OK, which is which was the union. Black men fought for the union. Black men fought to preserve America and to become free. But just because of that person named Johnson, the predecessor of Abraham Lincoln, they put a criminalization clause. And then 100 years later, we didn't get a chance to celebrate that. We killed all the leaders and then added women and added white men in the name of uh, being gay or just their sexual preference. And then now we're sitting back, can't even be honest and tell the truth about what's going on. Racism is real. And this is what critical race means. This is the whole purpose of critical race. We cannot have a conversation about race unless we understand race. And maybe Jewish Americans or Jewish people here in America are naive and don't understand that they are Caucasian and that by default you are with white Americans when you came to this country because look how you was able to change your last names, assimilate, and become the people that you are in control and you still have a race of people, the black race that's still in the back of the on the back of the bus so we want to heal so we have to be able to own our own narrative we have to be able to own you know our our position and be able to stand strong because the truth shall make us free so they know that it's our moment in time okay 2019 they know they know everything so all of this is a mass distraction to make sure that everybody stay in place and the black race don't rise to the positions that they are in life and if i, I find this crazy that you'll spend six thousand dollars to watch a black man play football and then you'll counsel a black female named Whoopi goldberg just because she's basically telling her truth from her position from her view on a tv show called the view Oh, you own it. Jewish people own it. Oh, that's what it is. But aren't y'all white? See how confusing that is? When you look at me, you see a black man. You can say I'm African-American. You can say I'm whatever, but you know I'm a descendant of the black race. When we look at a Caucasian person, you guys are a descendant of the white race from a global perspective. When we look at an Asian, they are descendants of the Asian race, the Mongolian race. And that's all it is. We There's not no, you know, more than three races. So basically, to counsel black keeps you, Jewish community, Jewish people in power because you guys have issues with whites. And your issue, we are your collateral damage because you're benefiting from the criminalization clause and the Constitution and everything that was put into play to, to protect us. You are taking full advantage of that. And that's sad. But like I said, you know, the truth shall make us free. And as individuals, all we got to do is just stand strong and be honest with ourselves and communicate and, and basically not use their platforms. Let's have these kitchen table talks and discussions, invest our dollars and basically just build our nation within this nation. Because, you know, white America don't love us. Clearly, the Jewish people here in America controls us. So how can we grow and how can we thrive in this nation, you know? believing that assimilation works for us. So now we can have the conversations. Now we could talk about it. Now we could discuss race because critical race theory is a thing and critical race theory, you know, as a whole means don't let them figure out race and don't let them talk about race because if they figure it out, we will not have the power that they have because we will cancel you. Who runs council culture? Who finances council culture? OK, who does this? Who owns mass media? Who owns big tech? Think about it. They came to this country and assimilated and changed their names so they could carry on as whites. OK, now my next video will be about um, Porkchop Hill. OK, Porkchop Hill is is a grand one of the biggest lies in American history. And I'm going to break that down to it's called Pork Chop Hill. So be on the lookout for that video. So hit those likes, hit those notifications because we can and we will. OK, a better black America means a better America for all. You have your Jewish community. You have your white community. Those are religions. Those are ethnicities. 
But when it comes to race ism, our ism is not the same as their ism because race is race. OK, our skin is a part of race. Their skin is a part of race. So we cannot have those, you know, be, you know, um, hoodwink, bamboozled, led astray, you know, which has us running amok. We have to use our education and our knowledge to build bridges. So it's time for us to talk to the Jewish community, not our actors, not the people who pay, you know, their paychecks, you know, but the, the regular people. Let's have these conversations. Let's have these conversations and talk about it so we can actually turn the chapter on race because you guys are talking about religious issues, ethnicity issues, just like the Democrats and Republicans are rivaling tribes. So is white America rivaling tribes with Jewish Americans and somehow the blacks are collateral damage? I don't know, but we're going to find this thing out. So like I said, thanks for tuning in. Hit those notifications, hit those likes, you share the video, and we're going to get to the bottom of this because a better black America will be a better black, will be a better America for all. And the acronym for better black America is ABBA, which is ABBA. Abba Father, meaning we using that acronym Abba as a term of endearment for our Father, our Heavenly Father, because we can and we will, we can no longer sit back and allow people who don't understand us to control us and tell us what to say, because that's nothing but modern day slavery. And I tell you this, we will still be oppressed. We will still be on the back of the bus mentally and spiritually, metaphorically, you know, until we can actually own our own narrative and get the, the, the world to understand and mass media to understand that we are a people, we are a group, and we're looking for higher ground. And we don't want to be not discriminated on, we don't want to be oppressed or none of this, but we do see that the Democratic Party, which is ran and financed by Jewish Americans, are the modern day oppressors for us. Because if you stopping us from telling the truth, that's an oppressor. OK, so critical race is a thing and we're going to talk about critical race by the system. And this is a critical race issue because look at Nick Cannon, look at Whoopi Goldberg had to go on television to apologize for saying the truth, but they don't want you to say the truth. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, man, this is some crap and we're going to deal with this. We can and we will. and We will fix this because, like I said, we get an opportunity as black Americans to actually change the narrative. But if we just sit back and conform you know, we're basically going to, you know, be genocided like, you know, like they're doing right now. So we can assimilate because you only can assimilate if you own. We don't own. If he hired you, they're hiring you or us to basically push their narrative and to make sure that, you know, they stay in a position of power because power is hard to give up. But as long as these truths continue to come out, you know, we're going to start seeing this. And then now, hopefully the Jewish community will be honest and have a sit down with us and understand what we're trying to do, because politically we're so against the two party system and because it's totally against us. So look who funds the uh, Democratic Party versus look who funds the Republican Party. And as blacks, we got to make a decision in 2024 what we're going to do, what we want, how we want it, and which party is going to be the one that we're going to actually cut a deal with. Because the Democratic Party looks like it assimilated too far because it is the oppressor of the black voice. And that's keeping it 100. Whoopi Goldberg, Nick Cannon, to, be, to name a few. With that being said, hit those likes, notifications, and I'll be back next time. 